Welcome, thoughtful viewers, to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. As we move assuredly into the golden age and work towards adopting sustainable energy solutions, many entrepreneurs and forward-thinking companies are striving to create new innovations for a cleaner, greener world. Few, however, have been as dedicated and inventive as Italian entrepreneur and longtime Hong Kong resident Lucien Gambriotta, who is the founder of Motorwave Group Holding Limited. Since 2004, Mr. Gambaratta and his team at Motorwave Group have designed and built a variety of intelligent energy solutions that harness nature's abundant resources in a responsible manner. Some of the company's products include Motorwave for capturing the power from sea waves, Motorwind for tapping the energy of the wind, and Motogym to generate energy from our own muscle power. Supreme Master Television had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Gambarata recently in Hong Kong, where he discussed his company's latest projects, the philosophy behind his commitment to clean energy, and his love of informing others of the benefits and importance of green power. Mr. Gambarata is especially interested in showing school children how sustainable energy is generated and getting them excited to learn more about the field. Many members of my team, uh, they, they go all the time uh, visiting school and, uh, and uh, uh, making contact and uh, uh, briefing them. We install a lot of uh, mini or big installation in school on their rooftop because school is more than teaching you know the, the mission of the school is to uh, train uh, these uh, young kids to the uh, jobs of tomorrow uh, they need to learn a job in school this is what school it, it's about so the jobs of tomorrow we know 25 percent of them will come from energy whether it's solar is wind is wave whatever it is so what we, what we want is to give them a tool, like an educational tool. And so we build a system on their rooftop uh, that generates power for the, the school uh, use. And at the same time, we give them an educational tool so the, the teacher can bring the, the, the kids upstairs and then they can show them how it works. And uh, on, on top of that, these kids, they're 10 years old or, or, or a little bit more. Uh, in, in the next uh, eight, ten years, they will create their own family or they will have their own place, their own house. So wh whatever we show them today, when they will be uh, old enough to create their own family and to have their own uh, house, then they will think about using this kind of product in their home. Uh, so it's very deep. Uh, we, we need to uh, make sure that the kids of today really seriously understand the, 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 the problem and the consequences. We also had the pleasure of visiting the Ching Chung Secondary School on a day when Mr. Gambarata and his team were installing a wind turbine system. Using the school as a testing ground for their technology benefits all involved, as the students can study the process and experience the results firsthand, while the school enjoys the extra power that is generated. We spoke with Mr. Gambarata and the school principal about the partnership. We are the HKTA Ching Chung Secondary School from Hong Kong and I'm the principal, Mr. Ng Yao Kang. The system behind me is a wind turbine system. It's a very small, efficient one. Uh, it is light and it does not need strong wind to make it start. So it is very suitable for the Hong Kong congested environment. Today we are installing uh, 120 turbine set for the school. Uh, we have a very great interest in uh, installing system in school. So uh, the kids, they will come here uh, on a regular basis and then they will be uh, able to observe it. They will be able to make uh, experiment, calculations, so they will understand that with wind we can generate power and the power can be used for lighting or any other purpose. 
Here in, in Qingchong Secondary School, uh, you have solar panel, you have different kind of uh, turbine. This it gives a very wide choice for the uh, children to see what is possible to do. Uh, and uh, we've been working with this school for uh, more than two, two years now. And that means we are going to install other systems. We, we use this school, in fact, as a, a testing ground. Any, anytime we have something new, we bring it here. We use the energy captured by this system to provide the electricity to the main landscape at the entrance of our school. And actually, this is a watering landscape. It shows how the wind energy can be captured and used as electricity to produce potential energy, kinetic energy. This shows the students how the energy can be transferred from one kind to another kind. And actually, this match with our Chinese culture. Uh, we use nature to provide the energy for the daily life. And this is a good fusion of the Chinese culture and science. We will be right back after these brief messages. When we return, we will continue our discussion with Lucien Gamberata and meet some of the dedicated team members at the Motorwave Group. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology for our show on sustainable energy technology from the Motorwave Group. Lucien Gambarata now explains how coupling wind power generation with induction technology leads to energy efficiency in lighting. Wind power is a uh, clean energy. It's easy to generate, but uh, uh, <coughs> it's limited in, in quantity. Huh? We cannot uh, generate too much because we don't have the space, we don't have the wind. So wind power must always be used in conjunction with uh, light-saving equipment. We have uh, run uh, hundreds of tests, and we find out that the best uh, ratio we can get uh, between wind generator and, and the quantity of light that we can deliver is by using a uh, technology, very old technology, uh, that was developed by uh, Tesla more than 100 years ago. Uh, it's called induction. So all, we have a wide range of induction light. This induction light, they have a very particular way uh, of being built. Uh, they are basically like a, a, a bowl. You take a bowl, sealed, you fill it up with gas, uh, with some coating, <coughs> and then from the outside, you, you transmit a radio wave, and then the bowl will start glowing uh, and, and generating light. So wh what is amazing is this uh, sphere, this uh, bowls, they have no lifetime. Imagine uh, we put one in a pyramid today and in 10,000 years maybe someone will dig in and we, we will uh, find this bowl and this bowl is still, I mean, still working, still alive. And this, this light, they have no lifetime. It, it's amazing. We have a, prepared a demonstration for you. You will see how powerful it can be. All right, so this is our battery. We have been recharging the battery by using any kind of renewable energy. It can be the exerciser, it can be the wind turbine, it can be anything. So we will recharge the battery. And now we are going to use this power. I'm going to show you. So this is the induction light. You see, it's just a bulb. Okay? There is no cable, no wire, nothing. Huh? This is an inverter. It transforms uh, DC into AC. So if I turn it on, choo, you see, very, very powerful. This is a 160 watt uh, induction light. It has the same capacity of a kilowatt, old style uh, lighting, okay? same as a kilowatt. Uh, unbelievably powerful and uh, unbelievably efficient. It's always uh, challenging to say it. This one has no lifespan. It can, it can last for 10,000 years, 100,000 years, because there is no component inside that can, uh, can be uh, uh, destroyed. Or Mr. Gamberata 
graciously showed us around the motorway factory, where we were fortunate to see one of their exciting projects. Okay, so here we are making a, a new turbine because there is one factory in China. They want to become a, a greener. They want to, uh, to have their carbon print reduced. So we are developing one specifically for them. It is an hybrid turbine. It's, it uses different kind of uh, uh, technology. And the object is to have a very low production cost. So like this, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, payback, uh, the factory can, can have a, let's say a reasonable payback in a range of um, maybe between 7 to 10 years. Most of the wind turbine, the, the, the big one, the payback is a, over tw 20 years. Huh? So they need a specific solution. So we, we, we design, build for them and we will install them. This one is going to be finished most probably by, uh, by tomorrow. So maybe we can do the installation by the uh, end of this week. Uh, we will test it for about four weeks. And if this one is okay, they will need uh, between 100 and 150 of those. Uh, it's, uh, th this is a very powerful machine. Huh? Th this is a four meter and diameter uh, wind turbine. This one uh, can be in a range of uh, 1.5 kilowatt. Very, very powerful machine. Lucien Gamberata has been able to realize his dream of creating new advances in green technology, thanks in part to his dedicated team of professionals at the MotorWave Group. Each team member has a unique background and area of expertise. We spoke with two of them, one of whom was Mr. Gamberata's own son, to ask them about their own work and reasons for working in the sustainable energy field. My name is DJ Gambarota. I'm 30 years old. One year ago, uh, I started working for MotorWave. Uh, I'm uh, an engineer, but also a manager. I'm very proud to work here because I'm working for my father also, uh, who is the inventor of all those products we sell. And uh, in Hong Kong, it's very special because the situation about uh, pollution is uh, really critical. So uh, we need uh, to be uh, even more efficient. My name is uh, Christian Massé. My work now is um, to make the promotion of all the technologies of the group in um, Southeast Asia, actually. So we made in uh, the summer of 2009 a presentation in Malaysia. Uh, we got a lot of people from the region, from Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, uh, Sri Lanka, who actually attended the seminar about green energy, about all the applications for green buildings. And now we are talking, we are keeping contact with a few companies who are interested in having um, the technologies of the motor wave group applied into their factory. Let's hear some final thoughts from Mr. Gambarata. All energy are free, wind is free, uh, sun is free, waves are free, everything is free. What is not free is uh, the mechanical system to recover this energy. Huh? What is for sure is that people have to learn uh, how to use less energy. The key point is to make sure that everything we use is energy efficient. We humbly thank Lucien Gambarata and the staff of the MotorWave Group for the opportunity to speak with them about their exciting company and the beneficial technologies it produces. We look forward to the day in which all the world's energy needs come only from clean and sustainable sources. For more details on the MotorWave Group, please visit www.motorwavegroup.com. Gentle viewers, thank you for your company today on Golden Age Technology. Coming up next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living, after not worth the news. May the divine light of heaven always shine upon us all.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT 